It's true, natural light photography sucks. And I'm gonna tell you why now. All right, you made it through the intro. I'll, I'll admit, natural light photography doesn't suck entirely. It's pretty cool. I mean, hell, I've got this big natural light studio, so, so I'm not gonna completely hate on it. And I'll give you this, it's totally free. So that's cool too. But since I love to dwell on the negative, allow me to do so. I'm gonna give you three reasons why natural light photography sucks. First reason is it's completely inconsistent. The sun is always moving, no. No, the earth is always moving. That was stupid. The earth is always moving, which means that the sun is constantly shifting. And never mind all the clouds and trees and airplanes and giant birds in between you and the light source, the sun. It would almost be like shooting with a flash and having your assistant just put different diffusion gels in between the light without telling you every few frames. You just have to constantly guess, what's he doing now? You can waste a lot of time on a shoot waiting for the right something to happen. Second reason, it's pretty hard to control. It's actually impossible to control. You literally have no control over the sun and the weather and all of that. Hell, look at the videos that I shoot in this studio. I'm usually lit pretty consistently, but that's because I'm being lit. You'll realize that because of my inability to speak full sentences and my super choppy editing method, you can often see the back wall changing shades as the sun floats in and out of whatever, clouds or whatever's happening outside. And to be frank, it actually doesn't take me a long time to film these. It's just constantly changing. Some locations are better at certain times of the day. And I'm not saying that you can't shoot natural light, obviously. It's something that everybody has to do. The problem is that your client may not always be available during that golden hour or blue hour or magical hour or whatever hour you're looking to shoot in. Sometimes you're not available. And you know, things like open shade are great, but that shade is constantly shifting because of all the movement up there. And if your shoot is running late, like it should be, you can kiss it all goodbye because the sun is going to drop when it's supposed to drop. There's no waiting for you. The third reason is that it will never look like this again. Okay, that's a bold statement, that's a lot, but the truth is you don't know when it's going to look like this again. Let's just say, for example, you get hired to shoot a whole slew of product and you decide that you're gonna take your trusty table and slide it right up against the window back there and take all the pictures with natural light because it's free and it's beautiful and it's going to look amazing. Right, and then three months later, that same client who hired you to shoot all of those beautiful product shots calls you back and says, hey, I've got a whole new line coming out and I would like for you to photograph a new product in the same fashion which you photographed the last set. And they're all gonna go on my website side by side, and so I just want them to look all the same. This is not gonna happen. It's gonna look good, it's gonna look okay, but it's certainly not gonna match up. Three months later could be the difference between summer and winter. Your day could be shorter. Your sun could be completely shifted, and now everything falls into your studio a little bit differently. Sure, you're gonna be able to get it to be close enough, but it's not gonna be perfect. It's going to look different. The only way that you can get consistent results is to light it yourself. And then remember how you lit it, write it down, take a picture, whatever. I often, when I do a setup, I will snap a few photos on my phone. And if I remember, I will save them in the folder with the job so that I can always go back and look. A lot of what I end up doing is going in and shooting for a company and then a year later they call me back and say, hey, we need the same thing. We want everybody to look the same. Can we use the same gray? They need that consistent look year after year after year. If I went in and said, cool, let's shoot natural light photos. You have all these beautiful windows in the office and we shot all this stuff in you know August and then they call me back in January and I come back and guess what I can't shoot as long as I used to because everything's different so no it doesn't suck entirely and I just happen to be big on lighting so I've never been a fan of just thinking that natural light was the way to go I would encourage you to look into lighting if you're interested and also just how to supplement or how to extend your shooting time a little bit longer or whatever it may be. You should have a little bit of everything in your tool belt, I think. 
you should know how to shoot natural light, you should know how to shoot strobe or flash, and you should know how to blend the two together so that it looks seamless. I feel like in photography, being dramatic is actually kind of easy. It's the subtle nuance of complementing natural light that can be the most difficult. There's a time and a place for everything. You just need to figure that out and what works best for you. That's my two cents. If you liked the video, maybe you'll click like. If you haven't already, I would recommend subscribing. Please feel free to leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on the situation. And I'll see you next week. Hey.